Okay, so here you can see, here's our finished product. Here's one I prepared earlier. So you can see we've got our different walls, different sizes, different profiles. We've got openings in each one. All that information is always readily accessible. Okay, so if we come into our north elevation, um, what we want to do now is we want to create the splits between our walls, or basically we want to create our assemblies of each of our concrete panels. So it's important to understand that we need to split this original wall into sub elements. Okay, so to do that, we simply click on the wall. Um, now we can let the precast module do this automatically, um, but to do that, you're going to end up with splits that don't suit. Now, in this particular case, I want to control the splitting along at my grid lines. And I want to have this top panel here in a certain profile. So to do this, as I said, we come in, we select the wall, we choose the create parts option, which then turns that into a part. I then I say I want to divide my parts. I want to choose or pick a plane. I can actually um, grab one if I want to. So, you know, I can choose maybe grid A or whatever, but I'm just going to pick a plane, pick the wall. And then I'm going to edit the sketch of the divide. Now, the first thing I want to do is I want to pick lines from existing objects to create the divide. Now, it's important to understand that you need to split outside of these dashed lines that you see on the outside here okay so we're going to come in we're going to pick grid six grid three grid two and the last split i'm going to actually draw myself so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pick this edge here i'm going to go all the way across to the other side here i'm just going to finish it somewhere here hit escape draw this down here stop then I'm going to come and fill it this edge to this edge. And I'm also going to grab the end of this line and just drag it up. So click, click and hold, drag, so that I'm outside of my dashed line area. The other thing we need to specify is the gap for when we do this. Okay. Um, so for example, let's just hypothetically put in our 20, pick OK. Pick OK, and voila, we've got one wall, two walls, three walls. Now if we go into our 3D view, you can still see we can only see the original elements, okay? But we come over here to our part visibility, switch it from the original to the parts, you can see there's my wall split, ready to go, and you would repeat this process all the way around the outside and split your, all your other walls. So for example, instead of on the north side, I go to the south side. Again, I pick the wall, choose to create parts, divide. I'm gonna pick my plane as my wall, edit my sketch, choose my pick lines option, pick the elements here from my grids, pick, hit the tick button, and again, accept and same scenario has happened okay only thing is i probably should have said let's make this 20 mil just like everything else pick okay and again we'll go back into our 3d view and you can see now my back walls are also split okay so now we've got our manual split created for all our walls we want to sit down and use the precast tools just to verify all our splits and assemblies are created accordingly. Okay, so you'll see at the moment, the system thinks there's 12 assemblies, but if you count it, there's six panels on each face. Um, and last I checked, four times six is a little bit more than 12. So this is where we kind of come in and use the split tool from the precast elements. So in the configuration area, what we want to do is we want to adjust the solid wall segmentation settings to match the mm, rules or to make the rules in such a way so that the system 
just verifies what we've done what we've done and don't split the walls any further so basically my minimum and maximum wall size i adjust accordingly obviously i'm not going to have any wall that's going to max out at this value it's just ridiculously big the same goes for the height and the same goes for the weight now these are very important because all these minimum length width uh, minimum length and height and maximum weight options are all going to affect whether to split the uh, scenario again. So what I want to do is just highlight my model, come into my precast, choose the split command. You can see the wheel starts spinning. The system goes through and checks all the selected elements according to those rules. And you can see now we've got a whole range of different um, walls to suit exactly what it is that we want to split okay the important part to remember here is we've done the split we've got our walls and we're ready to go